All right, welcome back everybody to part two of episode two. And uh, we want to steal that crap over here. But man, they are on uh, alert now. Don't really know how to... I could. Let's uh, do some pocket sand. Pocket sand. Yep. Man, where can I hide? Bastard. Where did he go? I'm not here anymore, what the hell? Yeah, he won't go back to his... Uh, his original... Uh, oh, don't be running like that. Man, I really wanted that stuff over there. But I won't be able to get it. Won't be able to hide. Don't think so, at least. Let's actually try and see. I'll wait for him to get over here. And then I'll jump out. Steal the stuff. And jump back out here. Sounds like a plan. So, huh, that was easy. Then we'll go around like this. Yep. Okay, so I need to get in here. Holy hell. Do I have a distraction? Yes, I do. Whoa. So let's, uh, man, holy hell, you not seeing me, could kill him, uh -oh. nice, okay, so let's steal that one, oh, I could have gone uh, that way, the smell of booty. okay, Come on, let's get out. We need to flee. Can I go all the way around? No, but I could go up. So let's do that. Like so. Right, anything in here? I hear that Ambassador Arcidi's airship is on its way. Oh. No. Didn't he restock just a few weeks ago? That's right, he did. That's Man. the second time this month. There must be something going on for him to be back again. Maybe There's he's come to see there. the talking goblin. Hell's bells, you're really getting on my nerves with that bloody story. You believe anything anyone says as long as he talks loud enough. And yeah, there isn't really anything for me to steal in now. Cockroach. Uh -oh. I'm gonna take it out. Oh no. Can I hide? I think I can. Man, I need to be careful. What the hell? That's right. You better run. I'll get you next time. That's right. I won't you be a next time. Run, I'll get you next time. You got me, I'm dead. Man, I need to be careful. I can't find him anywhere. Try for the one who finds it for me. We've got you now, goblin. Yep, goodbye. Man. That was some tense shit. Alright, so finally we got through the tutorial, kind of. Let's see what brings, what this brings. Okay. Time. <laughs> Although triggered. Alright, uh, Shadow. Mercy, thief. Ah, oh, there was one more token. Oh well. No, I uh, missed one uh, poster. Oh well. 
let's continue. Ah, uh, now we get a hideout. That's awesome. That is awesome. show you around my friend nice we are still in Thoban oh skills my Man. favorite workshop where my experience allows me to become even more badass yeah yeah it is possible <laughs> man that's awesome oh holy hell 395 skill points available stealth oh all right, uh, so stealth, the, the development of Stick's stealth abilities. This branch allows Stick's to be more discreet while moving and, and to use his power of invisibility more effectively. Kill, perfecting the art of eliminating one's enemies. This branch makes infiltration easier by improving takedowns and combat. There are several useful skills in this tree that can deal with alerted enemies. Oh, you can't see them. Alchemy. Learn about new items and equipment to craft. This branch allows to reinforce some expertises with, for example, a special dagger and deadly acid traps. Ah oh man, those traps are nice. And that's cloning. Sticks can create and control a clone. Clones can be used in many different ways, like scouting and diversion. This branch increases the possibilities, possibilities for example, spawning a clone from a distance or teleporting Sticks to his clone's location. Right. Perception. Development of the senses to better perceive the environment. This branch mainly improves the amber vision with the ability to, to detect scents left by enemies and also to be able to see footsteps across walls. Ah oh man. Which should we do? Kind of like uh, this kill. Oh, okay, I can go into them. Anticipation defense techniques allow sticks to parry attacks. Headlong rolls. Material dodge. Pilfering pickpocketing technique enables the item worn on the belt of a victim to be collected during his killing. Okay. Oh man. Let's uh, have a look at this then. Lockpick. This one we want though. Acid solution. Costume full of pockets and laboratory glassware. Oh, I can craft the uh, items anywhere. Uh, I'm noisier when I'm run, running. Okay. Poison spot. Ooh. Okay. So he will uh, be immobilized. That's nice. Acid traps. Amber dagger. Dagger inlaid with empty cavities. The glint of amber. Bonus sticks collects amber for, from victims. Kill with the dagger. When each injury is sustained, Styx loses an equivalent amount of his amber. Alright. Man, what shall we uh, choose? No, not so interested in cloning. No. When Styx uses his Styx to mirror the match dematerializes instantly and it's recreated as this clone okay oh man thief's senses stick senses the presence of items you cannot see up to five meters away okay presence of enemies okay Stick senses the presence of enemies when he is close to their fields of vision, allowing him to remain stealthy more easily. Okay. Man. I honestly don't know. I don't know what to pick here. But I kind of want to be uh, stealthy and uh, effective in killing when needed. Let's... Uh... Uh, 
Let's get this one. Yeah, I can cancel if I want, and that one. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. Well, we kind of need this. Okay, I don't have enough. All right, so uh, we'll uh, leave it at that for this one. This is the crafting. Yes, indeed. This cupboard can fill right up with anything I need to change my style of rags. All right. Uh, dagger recently forged by Styx and Thoban. Didn't I have? A, yes, I have this one. Styx first dagger. This is uh, because I pre-ordered the game. Styx first dagger, ancient but sturdy. It was coded with a very powerful acid. Styx uses it with great prudence. Bonus dissolves enemies that have been killed. Penalty, the blade is so blunt that it makes a mouthful killed impossible. Oh. Well, that's not good. Man, that's not good. So I can't make muffled kills. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, try and use it. Jerkin made by Styx on his arrival in Thoban a few months after the fall of Akinash. I think I got a new one here as well. Yes, this outfit reminds Styx of his former stat status as a clone in Akinash. Bonus net increase in the life of clones. Penalty Styx loses one unit of life when his clone dies without being destroyed. Yes, but uh, let's use that one. Yeah, it changes there. Alright, so uh, looking a bit different. Awesome. Oh, I can't carry more of that. Replay a mission. Yep. All right. All righty. Well, should we continue or should we just leave it uh, here and uh, continue in episode three? Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll do that. We'll continue in episode three. See uh, what the game can bring to us. But it will be interesting to see this uh, dagger in action. And we should be able to craft uh, lockpick soon as, soon as we learn it. Alrighty. Well, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like, uh, show support, and I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for joining me in this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.